one thing I did want to ask you about is how did you actually get started using Linux? Like, how long have you been using mm. it? Why did you start using it? So, okay, let me start. Okay. This is a good, good question. So can I just mention, like, uh, my computer journey and not just Linux? Because I guess, uh, so I, I was just... Uh, I, I never had like any experience, prior experience with programming or anything. So mm -hmm. it was the school time. And one day I watched this movie, The Social Network. And then I started, you know, learning how to do web development. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got really motivated by watching that movie. So my goal was very simple. So whatever he was doing in the movie, I wanted to do that. So he was doing some MySQL, LAMP stake, some, you know, making a PHP website. Mm -hmm. So uh, I spent like two months and I learned like PHP and I learned C programming for fun and I learned HTML CSS and I ended up making a first version of Facebook like website. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I was pretty happy with that. It was really trash, but it was working. So mm -hmm. the login form was working and everything like feed was working. So from there I was like, okay, it's fine. I, I'm enjoying it. At that time, I had a really shitty system. It had some virus on it. So it was Windows 7, some really weird viruses. So I managed to learn a few other technologies. Over time, I realized in order to get good and be exactly like, you know, the Mark Zuckerberg in the movie, mm -hmm. so in the social network, I have to learn how to use computer with command line. Mm. So at that point, I'm like, okay, so... So I was Googling like what he was doing on his computer and just to figure out. So that's how I figured out he used PHP to create a uh, Facebook. So, so then I realized like, okay, he was using Linux. So at that point I started using Linux. My first distro was Linux Mint. And then I even figured out like what desktop environment he was using in the movie. You know the movie, right? Like the social network. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. It, it was, I watched it years ago. I couldn't tell you any details about it besides he made facebook that's the yeah. only thing i remember it, it was really hard to figure out what desktop environment he was using i knew he was using kd4 but mm -hmm. i wanted an exact desktop environment but then okay it was kd4 mm -hmm. but now you know kd was is so changed so mm -hmm. i googled there was there's this desktop environment trinity okay mm -hmm. trinity desktop environment mm -hmm. so it was the closest which i, I can get yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah, so, you know, whatever he was doing, I ended up learning those over time. Mm -hmm. But my real Linux learning happened when I switched to DWM. And mm -hmm. because before that, I was just using it uh, by GUI. And I don't really appreciate that. I believe, like, Linux should be used properly with... Uh, at least you should know how to use it with command line. Otherwise, mm -hmm. there is no point. I mean, yeah, for privacy reasons, it's fine. But, you know, like, if you just want to use computer normally, mm -hmm. but if you want um like truly get the fun out of linux then you have to learn how to use it with shell mm -hmm. and the idea that you only need one terminal and you can just do whatever you want from the terminal is just like really exciting so also i realized over time like it's so easy to install any uh, software or doing programming work by using arch linux i specifically arch linux because you know packages are everything and stuff so i really loved it every time you know if i if somebody asks me to write a code in Windows machine, then it's really hard. And I have a little bit experience with Mac too. I even installed Hackintosh for like two months uh, in my old PC. Did so, you do videos on that? Or was that way before that? No, it was it was way before. Yeah. And Hackintosh installation was, was one of the hardest installations which I ever did. I managed to run it and I was so happy. But after two months, I was like, okay, it's not that good. It's boring. Mm -hmm. So, and, and it, you know, um, when I started using Linux, I had this uh, journey of distro hopping. And first I did a lot of distro hop, then desktop environment hopping after Arch Linux, of course. So after Arch Linux, I did a lot of, like I explored all the desktop um, environments, like even enlightenment and many others. So uh, I used to enjoy every one of them mm -hmm. for starting one month and then switch. And it's like, I try something and I'm like, this is forever. And after one month, this sucks. Let's just move on. Yeah, that first month but is really then, exciting. You try, it, it's this yeah. new experience. Like, wow, it's all crazy. And then yeah. you're like, once you're in there for a month or so, that's when you start to notice everything that's a problem with it. Um, I, I noticed this like with, um, 
when I was switching between some window managers as well, like you, you that that start is always fun, and then you get to a point where you're like, how do I do this thing I want to do? And then you have no idea, and you're like, okay, next one it is then. <laughs> Dude, but the problem with these things is I reach to a point, mm -hmm. like sometimes I reach to a point where I feel like I'm like homeless. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know what to use. Mm -hmm. Like, I I get to a point. And this is happening to me right now. Like, mm -hmm. literally right now. So, on my PC, I cannot use DWM because now I'm so much used to Hyperlane. And I cannot... I, okay, I install Hyperlane, but mm -hmm. with NVIDIA, I cannot screen share. Ah, so, yeah. I, I... By the way, this is like an update. So, on NVIDIA 950... Mm -hmm. Okay, 950 GTX, if you install... Uh, if you manage to install Hyperland, it will work, but your screen share might not work, okay. at least for me. Okay, so, so yeah, I don't know what to use now. <laughs> I'm like, such a sad situation. So, so yeah, so I might go back on Gnome in just, <laughs> in just Windows. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I'm literally just frustrated because my screen share is not working and mm -hmm. I cannot really go back to DWM. Mm -hmm. I even had like this, so for one year I was really happy. Uh, mm -hmm. with linux because i had my perfect dwm build i have like all my configs i have a script which auto install everything mm -hmm. so everything was working fine for me but now after using hyperland i cannot really go back to dwm mm -hmm. because it lacks so much and i never realized it i, I don't know what i was thinking <laughs> wait, but now i feel like wait wait okay yeah? what is it lacking that you didn't realize i want to know because <laughs> dwm is like very basic i want to know what exactly is the problem here maybe my patches were like i haven't patched a lot maybe uh -huh. that's the reason but if i toggle to like floating mode i cannot go back or if i toggle without going to floating mode like if i just you know resize my any window mm -hmm. you know it doesn't go back it's not like i i wasn't able to use my computer it was mm -hmm. but you know it was not that fun like there was some kind of mental restriction like okay i cannot if i just re accidentally resize my window mm -hmm. i won't go back also you can't really have animation i i tried i watched all your pycom videos i tried all the builds of pycom but you can't really have uh, animation so easily also there is so much bootstrapping you have to do in order to get uh, a up running dwm mm -hmm. so I feel like, okay, I always liked Suckless software, but right now I am in a situation where I, I have to say, like, Suckless kind of sucks. Like, DWM was the only thing which I was, like, okay with. Other than that, tell me what Suckless software you can use. I understand. D-Menu. D-Menu is really good. Oh, yeah, D-Menu you can use. Uh, I was thinking about search at the point. But, yeah, so... It's not like it's completely useless. It depends mm -hmm. on what system. But if you're, you know, daily using and if you if you have like some job or anything, you can't mm -hmm. use it. Yeah, you if you are just like a uh, hobbyist, you can use it. I mm -hmm. don't know. Like uh, there have to be someone who might use it and who can, you know, challenge me on that. So I Oh, I guarantee this. when I clip this section out, I guarantee there's gonna be people that are like DWM is the greatest thing ever. You have no idea what you're talking about. You should apply this patch and this patch and this patch. And then all of a sudden, it works well. Or you could use a desktop that has those features out of the box and you don't have to patch it. It was anything. working well. It was working well. It just like, it lacks. So I was able to do things. It's not like it was not working. Sure. But it's like, why survive when you can live, you know, when you can That's use true. Hyperlink? That's true. That's true. <laughs>